Hi there guys, it's Nathan from Picture and Word or WP Builds or whatever you like. Um, here again with another AppSumo deal. Now at the moment, if you go to appsumo.com forward slash all, you find the latest AppSumo deals. And at the moment, brand new right on the top is lifetime access to Spark Chart. And that's what we're going to be looking at today. Now, I confess, I bought this about 15 minutes ago. And as always, I like to put these videos together just to show you what's in there. I'm not going to spend ages playing with it first. It's just an idea of what's in there so that you can kind of make up your mind for yourself. Um, the salient points, $49, unlimited projects, unlimited users, unlimited questions, responses. Basically, it's a survey taking uh, app. And already it's got quite a few comments. What have we got? 76 comments and five reviews of five tacos, which is quite good. Okay, so let's find out what it's like. Right, over here, once you've set up your account with your code, this is the UI. This is the very first thing that you get into. And I have to say, um, I don't think I've seen a better um, onboarding process of any app I've ever bought ever. Um, period. It's really, really detailed in its approach to coaching you through it. And I haven't read hardly any of it, but you'll, you'll understand why in a minute. So we've got the usual stuff here. We've got um, links here to um, hide page overview. I'm not entirely sure what that is. Settings and logging out. Um, the settings, if you click on this menu item here, you get to these settings. Now, I'm not going to show you my profile one because it's got my email address in, but you can see user interface um, show empty tags in sidebar, show sidebar minimized. I guess that just squishes it up to the side. Um, you can change the date format. You can change the blueness of this. Two options, you can have gray or blue. I've put it on blue. Help and guides. Well, if you go to that, you um, you're an, you enable the, the tour button, which I'll show you in a moment. Okay, you can change the colors of just about everything. You can see here are uh, the colors for the main color, the accent color, the default button color, previous next buttons, and so on. You can choose these ones. It doesn't look like you can pick colors beyond these ones, but that's quite a healthy choice. Um, you can set up your email account. I haven't done that yet, but that would be a good thing to do. Put your sender name in there and your email address. Otherwise, everything comes from this email address when you send it to uh, recipients of the survey. Instructions. OK, so you can um, put instructions. The participant welcome text appears here. So instructions so that the um, person getting the survey, I guess, um, is able to see what it is that they need to do, the welcome text and the finish text. I haven't fiddled with that, but it, I think there's some defaults. As usual, you get you know some tokens, merge tags that you can put in down here on the left. And then satellites, I'm not 100% sure what that is, but no doubt we'll come to that in a moment. Organization and users, well, I'm guessing that you can add organizations above and beyond the one that you've got. Well, at the moment, I've got me, picture, and word in. doesn't look like there's an option to add another one, but it does look like there's an option to change the logo. So it looks like everything's going to come from picture and word. That's a shame. It would have been nice to be able to have two or three different companies in there, but there you go. And users, presumably at the moment, it's just got me. Yes, indeed. So there we go. Right. Okay. OK, let's get out of here. All right, so I was saying earlier that it's pretty well thought through. There's a play tour button here where you can be coached through all the usual stuff. Um, and it shows you where all the bits and pieces are in the UI. And, you know, this is for a start. This is pretty good. You know, lots and lots of in interesting stuff there that you're going to need to know. And you can close it. And then obviously a moment ago, we saw that you can get rid of that. Now you can replay that tour at any point, which is quite helpful if you forget things. But also on just about every single page, there's a gigantic blue section, including a video and text about how what to do on that precise page. Now, I'm not going to click this button because I'm fearful that if I do that, it'll make it go away forever and then I won't be able to get it back. But in a moment, you'll see that this is on every single page with bespoke text. So it really, really has been well thought out. Um, build, survey templates, mail templates. We'll come to that soon. Tools, rating scales and so on. People and launch and so on. OK, so we've got the buttons along the top. 
and we've got the buttons down the side, right? Let's click into projects. You get, let's go into all projects. Now there's a one there because I created a test one a moment ago. And again, here we go. Here's the enormous blue box of joy, which is going to uh, explain um, about projects. So about projects, how to create a project, launch a project, how to use the mission control, copy a project, and setting up tags. And then if that wasn't enough, play the video. <laughs> really great. And then play the tour. And you've got another bespoke tour explaining how this worked. I mean, it, I've never seen this level of detail. Um, incredible. Let's just click through until we get to the end. Um, there we go. That seems to have made it go away. So obviously, if I was to click this, that would probably disappear. Um, but I set up a, a test project down here. Now we'll we'll come back to that in a minute. But we've got projects down here. We've got um, survey templates. And if I click on all surveys, this is the actual templates that you can use. And again, exactly the same thing. Uh, a tour. <laughs> Unbelievable. And a video and some text to explain exactly how it all works. Great detail, isn't it, guys? I mean, amazing. And then down here, um, the actual stuff, which will be visible when you, you know, click this and make it go away. OK, you've got mail templates and you get, you get the same thing down here. Again, same process. I'll leave that up on the screen for a moment so that you can read it. Pause, obviously, if you want to read the text itself. Uh, a video will just show you that it does do something. There are various ways to distribute surveys and send messages to survey respondents in SparkChart. Sounds like an Australian. One way is with customized. Well, I won't let you uh, steal his video, but probably there's a YouTube channel, which if I click this button, I can probably find. But um, yeah, amazing. So there we go. And I've got some things that I've added in down here. Let's just keep going through the menus. Rating scales. Well, these are the, in surveys, obviously you have um, scales from naught to 10 or naught to 100 or naught to five or whatever. Here's some default ones which they've put in. And you can see, for example, that if I go into this one and click the edit button, um, again, more information that you need. Uh, it goes from zero to five. It's got a name and the label for each of the sections is this, this and this. So strongly agree, agree and so on. You can obviously change that to low, medium, high, whatever. Um, exclude a value for averaging. OK, so these are your, your scales and there was loads and loads and loads of those by default um, already put in. There's a bunch that just came with the app. And obviously you can create new ones uh, up here. Selected, don't know what that means. Presumably I'm able to do things like delete selected. Yeah, delete and add tags and so on. Okay, great. Right, okay, so there your scale. So in every survey, there's gonna probably be some kind of scale and you can add those into your surveys later on. And then obviously there's lists. So you can, instead of having uh, scales, you can have lists. And here we are again. I haven't added one, so let me add one in. Doesn't look like it comes with any defaults. Let's give it a name of test list. Write a description, but it's not required. I could add some tags, I'm not going to. Uh, and I'll click Save. And there it is at the bottom. There's my new uh, answer list, and let's edit it. So presumably this is um okay let's add in some options option one agree um let's add in another option disagree okay. oh quick template oh that's cool oh i can just simply add in yes no maybe ah look at that that's cool so if i get rid of my ones i could put yes no maybe in or i could huh Quick little template, satisfied, unsatisfied, neutral. Ha, <laughs> cool, look at that. Isn't that great? Okay, let's get rid of those. What else have we got? Uh, do more, do less. <laughs> do a bit, do the same, do a bit more. <laughs> okay, so let's save that. So you can see how you can create these 
So instead of it being um, a number scale, if you like, it's more of um, respond, do you think this, 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 or this, like radio buttons, I'm guessing. Themes, haven't even looked in here yet. Let's have a look. Presumably this is the way that um, things are colored and the way that they look. About themes, well, I haven't got a theme, so let's add a new theme, see what that looks like. Okie doke. Looks like I can just add a simple color. Um, so if I want something to be red, I presume I could call it red theme, choose a red, um, and then save it. And then from now on, I could presumably just select the red theme so that the survey looked red when it was deployed. And yeah, there you go, as if it wasn't obvious enough. It's showing that the red theme in this case is red. Great. So contacts, I guess these are going to be the people that you send your surveys to because um, I guess you could embed this stuff on a web page. But I think the idea really is that this this system allows you to do things like mass email them. So there's nobody in there. I can add a new contact or I can import a CSV. So this is for um, lists that you've already got, presumably from things like, you know, WooCommerce sales and stuff like that. Participant list, don't even know what this is. Let's have a look, add a new participant list. Again, just amazing levels of detail. No video on this one, but it explains what it is. Let's add a new participant list. Okay, and so presumably when I've got contacts in here, I can just sort of segment those contacts. That feels like what it is. And then there's a free form note section. Okay, great. All right. That all seems good. So that gives you a very brief overview of what's in the main dashboard. Now, um, let's have a look. I did set up a project earlier. Now the project is, um, is, a, is a survey basically. So here it is. And basically I went in, well, I'll, and I created a new project and I added in, um, some of the um, rating scales and answer lists that you saw earlier, just put them in. And then if we click on mission control, it opens up an entirely new UI. So you'll see um, that now instead of the menu items that we had before, we have to click back to dashboard to get back to that. So let's open that in a new tab and we'll just click one and the other and you'll see the difference. So look, there's the dashboard. Whoops, wait for it to load with things like projects, survey templates, and so on. And here is the mission um, control section. Now this would appear to be where you get data about um, the surveys that are already ongoing and so on and so forth. So um, we've got things like play the tour again. You can, looks like you can plan things. Probably this is schedule th scheduling things, distribute things to participants and satellites, which I don't know what that is manage things, progress status, analyze. Presumably this gives us charts and information like that. Um, and I've got one survey in progress. Can I actually click on that? I don't think I can, but maybe I can do it from over here. Progress. Oh, look at this, like a timeline of stuff that I've done. Okay. Now then let's see if I can. So, okay, down here you've got all participants not started in progress. So let's look at the ones that are in progress. And again, more incredibly helpful stuff. Um, and this is it. This is the um, this is the the sort of survey. And I can get a link here. Let's get the link. Um, copy and paste it into a new tab there. This is the actual survey that I created. All of this just did by clicking buttons, but this is this is it. You can see that it appears in its own. Um, I don't know if you can change the URL. Perhaps you can. You can white label this. But also, if we close that, we can email um, to whoever we want to email it to. So we can send it to a list of people. Um, mail settings down here. We can create a, an email template that we can send. So in other words, you can put in here, um, you can create your email that your clients will receive and then presumably it'll go out to everybody on the list saying, please fill out this survey. And then when they do it, they'll get, you know, they'll get sent to this page. I'm guessing there's an option to embed this as well on a web page. Let's go back to in progress.
down here. I wonder what this is. I wonder if this is the embed button. View the no. So this is view the survey results. Well, nobody's submitted it, so there won't be a great deal. No, nothing has been answered, but presumably it, it um, amasses all of your bits and pieces in here. Um, okay, great. I think really I'm quite a way into this video. I, I don't know that I need to show you a great deal more. Again, the idea of this video is not for it to be slick or perfected, but I know that you, a lot of you sumo guys, they, you want to jump in right away and check it out and then, you know, potentially refund it later. Well, maybe a quick overview like this um, will avoid you having to refund it later. You can see um, the potential, obviously, maybe go and set up a free account, but um, I've in 20 minutes managed to show you most of what's there. Haven't quite worked out how to use it properly yet, but there you go. It's a, it's a bit of a, bit of a quick, quick overview of Spark Chart. Alrighty. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.